Oh my god, New York is so loud. It doesn't stop. Hey, what's up everyone? Alexander Morgan here for update number two, uh, work days two and three. I posted a little bit of my progress on the peer group, but I wanted to show you what I did and added since then. As you heard from the intro there, I decided to do this sort of backbeat, almost swingy vibe, especially inspired by Andrew's video. Um, so the first thing I did was lay down this beat here. I went up using the built-in drum rack in Ableton, which is amazing, um, so much better than the Logic stuff. And I just found a couple of samples, including uh, some ones that I use all the time and have some favorites from Splice, um, including this kick drum, this snare. I took this fun little thing, which is like a snare and a tambourine or something, and uh, it has this nice little bop in it, but I, didn't, I wanted to get some of that high end out of there, so I just used this built-in EQ here to actually cut some of that out. And I just got the fun bop that's sort of in that middle frequency there. So that's the basis of my main snare. I also added a fun reverb -y snap. A couple little bells and whistles like this boom falling noise that I made for this other project. After laying down the groove and, and nudging those uh, kick drums over a little bit to get that swingy vibe, I added some bass. I decided to layer two basses from the same soft synth. This mini V3 it has an awesome sub bass that I use for the bottom of, of most of my bass sounds now. And on top of that, I added this cool triangle wave bass, which has a really quick attack and a really quick decay, and added some delay and some reverb in there to sort of get a more bouncy texture that matches the, the main synth in here. Speaking of synths, I added this little arpeggiator thing here. Just to give it a little more texture, I was considering this being like the lead line, but it seems like it's adding more vibe than an actual melody. So for a lead melody, I tried a few different things, including a different soft synth and even a guitar, but I just ended up going with my voice and just wrote some lyrics really quickly and sang some stuff out. I know it's been a while and we are not quite the same kids who were running round your room. I cobbled together some lyrics about an old friend that those friends where you, you come back and it seems like no time has passed and you can just be kids again. Uh, that was the vibe I was going for. After laying that down, I wanted to mess around with some of Logic's pitch bending and such, so I decided to transpose the same vocal take into an octave higher uh, to get this sort of chipmunky, fun, playful thing. It kind of ended up sounding strange. So I might ask you all for some help on how to pitch some stuff in Ableton. I, I, I imagine this is really powerful, but I just don't understand entirely how it works. So hopefully Andrew will go into that at some point too. But it, it has something fun, strange, kind of, whatever. And throughout, I just did a little bit of mixing stuff here and there, adding some automation with EQ and volume, and ended up with this loop that I hope to take further. Let me know what you think. Give me any suggestions. Maybe there's a better option for the pitching stuff. Maybe it's better if I just actually find a lead line that's an instrument and not a voice. I'm curious to hear what you think. Enjoy.